Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got most feared already coming tonight. We got the reveal coming tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We got a triple model reveal, and now they just gave us a teaser video that revealed most probably of all the good players that's going to be most viewed so it's pretty cool i'm going to go through that video show you guys that and then show you guys them on the auction block kind of tell you how i think their stats will improve from their last cards but guys we got some pretty good cards to show you guys here so before we get into today's video guys you want to have a chance to join the poodle squad and be shout out in the next video go down below turn on that like hit that like button turn that noti bell and of course be subscribed to the channel comment down below poodle squad now for today's poodle squad shout out guys of course we got ghost don't miss shout out to you man for being a part of the poodle squad greatly appreciate you showing support and being a part of the poodle squad now Moving on, guys, you need coins from uh, most fear. We're going to be plenty of good players tomorrow. If you need coins, head up to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle 15% off. Take advantage of all the cheap discounts right now. But moving on from that, guys, I'm super excited to go through this reveal. I wish they would have dropped it like two minutes earlier as I just posted my video. But still exciting nonetheless. Hopefully, you guys see this around 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern time. But let's go over to the screenshots and go watch the video real quick so we can show you guys some of the players. Watch it through one time first. We're going to watch it through real quick. And you guys can see there's tombstones or pumpkin, pumpkin, sorry. Pumpkins or players' names on them, and this is looking like the guys are going to be seeing tomorrow, as you guys can see here. So, hopefully, you guys can see this as well. Now, let's go through it one more time again so we can go back to the beginning and show you guys. So, if you guys see here on the left, we have Sherman, which I believe is supposed to be Richard Sherman, but he looks kind of weird there. So, we should be seeing Rich Sherman tomorrow. Over here, we got um, Cameron Jordan. Sorry, I have a glare here. We have Cameron Jordan as well. So, the two players we're seeing tomorrow. Uh, we got Jair Alexander on the right, which I'm super hyped for. I'm a big Jair Alexander fan, so I'm going to be very excited in picking that one up for sure. I love Jair Alexander, especially in Madden and in real life. Now, moving on more, we got DeAndre Hopkins on the left right there. We got Henry Ruggs on the right. We got Aaron Donald on the left, guys. This most fear is looking great. Now, I don't know if that's all the players. That's not even including any legends, so you never know. There could be like a Ray Lewis in there, Charles Woodson. Let's watch through again. So we got Cameron Jordan, Richard Sherman, Jair Alexander, DeAndre Hopkins, Henry Ruggs, and we got Aaron Donald. This is super exciting, guys. Super, super good stuff. And this coming tomorrow at 10.30 Eastern Time. Of course, we will know the stats and everything probably tonight because you do know how that all works with that stuff. It's over here if you guys want to watch for yourself on your phones or your computers. Madden NFL 21. It's The ad is EA Madden NFL. Go check this out, guys. This is super awesome. They did something like this. We never get intro reveals like that. Now, like I said, we will be getting the reveal tonight, so you'll see all their stats. But this is definitely a fun teaser. Hopefully, this video makes its way to you at some point. I want to go. I'm gonna go on the auction block and show you guys some of their stats. Now, we're gonna get some good cards tomorrow, guys. Head over to the Madden screen, show you guys some of what these cards could look like, especially a few guys that I think are gonna be great. I had some of my predictions right here. Now, the thing is with some of these cards, like Jair Alexander, I've been telling you guys this Jair Alexander is going to be a fiend. So he's probably gonna get like what a 92, maybe 93 overall. So 92 overall, 93 overall, Jair Alexander is going to have probably like a 92, 93 speed. I'm gonna go with a plus 10, plus 11 upgrade. He's gonna end up with a 92 speed, plus powered up and chemmed up, maybe. Either 93 or 94 speed is going to be his powered up uh, speed. He's going to end up with above 90 man. I would say probably like an 85, 86 zone, which will get there powered up. So he's going to be like Denzel Ward of last year. He's going to be like the Denzel Ward, but faster. So he's going to be super fast. Got to hit the man threshold, probably the zone threshold as well. And he may come close to the press. Again, you're going to need lockdown max to get all this stuff. 5 foot 10, he's going to be super athletic. Going to be really, really athletic. High jumping, high everything. 5'10 is a decent height. I'm really excited for this card. He's gonna have above 90 change of direction. We have like 97 change of direction, quite honestly, which is super amazing. Especially if you ever want to use them in the flats or something. Um, this card's looking super solid. He's gonna be part of the man press meta for sure. All you gotta do, of course, is get locked down, maxed up, is what I'm probably assuming we're gonna need. Now, but there's so many good cards, guys. There's Jair. Now, another glitchy one I already see on there is going to be this guy. Now, this guy's going to be fun to play with. Henry Ruggs is going to be an absolute monster. He has an 89 speed of 75 overall. We're probably gonna see an 86 overall version of him all the way up until a 90 watt too so even if it's an 86 he probably ends up with a 93 speed 94 speed if it's a 91 or something like that or 92 he probably ends up with a 95 speed now 95 speed henry rugs would be super glitchy i could see it right because he's not just gonna get a plus two or two upgrade unless he only gets a low 80 i think worst case scenario he gets a 93 speed best case scenario is 95 speed unless he gets the power up then that changes everything but that's gonna be super awesome we got aaron donald coming now aaron donald's part of my predictions we had to be getting him right now, that's not all of them guys there could be some ltds those are just coming tomorrow there could be ltds more master sets like last year aaron donald's going to be that guy so aaron donald's going to get probably 93 overall powered up and chemmed up more than likely so he's going to end up having 
above 90 block shit, above 90 power move, above 90 finesse move, above 90 play rec, above 90 strength already, uh, probably like an 86 tackle, and of course, his speed's probably going to get closer to like a 79, 78, which means power up, you could get it probably close to an 80. I don't think he gets 80, but he gets up there, which is super awesome for an Aaron Donald card. The Excel probably ends up around like an 86. Guys, this is honestly such an awesome drop. I think this is going to be a really awesome drop of most fear cards tomorrow, for the most part. Uh, my favorite one so far, I think Jair's going to be so much fun, but Aaron Donald's a staple. I like him because Aaron Donald's on my team all year. So regardless of the price, regardless of anything, you know we got to scoop him up. But we got plenty more guys to still show here. Sherman I'm not too excited for, which is why I haven't shown him just yet. Cameron Jordan could be good. Who else? Hopkins. So let's go check out a Hopkins card. Now, I don't think Hopkins is going to be like a meta card, but he could be super, super good as well. Let's see what a DeAndre Hopkins is looking like. So he's an 87 overall. If he gets like a 92 or 93, Hopkins would end up having probably like, oh man, his speed's going to suck. Probably like an 89 speed plus powered up and chemmed up if we're lucky. If we're lucky, he gets a 90 speed and he ends up with high, oh, this card's going to suck. High 80 route running. Probably low 90 catching, high 80 route running, high 80 speed. This card's going to suck. I take it back. I thought it would have been decent, but it's not going to be. The Hopkins is not going to be that great. Let's go check out Sherman. Sherman's going to be like glitchy in terms of like a zone scheme. Uh, the speed, I mean, the speed, you know, the speed's always like going to be an issue with him. But let's see. Richard Sherman, 86 overall. He probably gets like a plus six, seven increase here. So I say his speed probably ends up being like an 88, 89. If we're lucky, probably 88. So 88 powered up. He's going to end up with an 89 speed. Probably ends up with like a 93 zone. So probably ends up with a 99 zone powered up and chemmed up. Probably ends up with like a 92 man powered up and chemmed up. And then probably ends up with like a 94 press powered up and chemmed up. Um, again, the card's going to be decent. If you have him in a pure zone scheme, like in the flats, you know, something like that, he's going to get some glitchy animations. But if you're in a man scheme, you're not going to find some use in him because he's going to get burned really easily. Now, the height helps. He's 6'4", guys. So you have to remember, when it comes to being 6'4", that definitely helps a lot because he's going to get animations that other people won't get because of his height. As well as, even if you burn him by like 2 or 3 feet, he can usually jump and get it. Richard Sherman has literally been the bane of my Madden existence. We're like, oh, he's slow as hell. Let me burn him real quick. I go to burn him and then I pause it and he just jumps up and catches it. I'm like, how the hell did you pick that? We got Cameron Jordan next. Cameron Jordan could be good. Now Cameron Jordan, if he gets a plus six, seven increase, he ends up with probably like a 77 speed, 76 speed, but he ends up with like a 93, 94 power move, not power, not chemmed up or powered up. Probably ends up hitting the 90 block shed if he's uh, chemmed up, of course, he's gonna need that. Above 90 play rack. He's gonna be a very well-rounded uh, end. Do I think he's like, you know, the best end of the game. I think he's meta. Probably not, but he's going to be super, super good. I think that's all of them, right? I think I covered all of them. We got, we got Jair, we got Donald, we got Ruggs, we got Sherman, we got Hopkins, we got um, Cameron Jordan, and we got Sherman. I think that pretty much covers all the guys that we have to uh, go over here. So guys, that's it for now, but again, there's going to be LTDs. There's going to be Matt. I don't think that includes Masters. I think we might have like a Ray Lewis or a Charles Woodson or something or a Moss or Calvin. You know, they're not leaving those guys out. So expect more, but at bare minimum, this is what we're going to see about guys. But for the video, Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notify bell, boys, and join the family. Heading over to Mutt Reserve, pick up coins. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.